obviously you know your wife Natalie is about to uh, give birth um, uh, shortly. Have you uh, sort of uh, computed the impact on what that might have on you if you have to go back and, and come back and how that would affect your tournament? Uh, it, I don't think it would affect me uh, mentally. Uh, it wouldn't affect me. Obviously, it, I'd have to get get back to England to then get back again. So that's obviously not ideal, but it's part of uh, part of life. Uh, I'm about to have my third child. I'm not going to miss it if if I if I can help it. But I want to get back as fast as I can. So yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll have to see. Obviously, Gareth's been very supportive of you. You doing that, and I presume all the other lads have as well. Yeah, they're fine about it. Uh, Gareth understands how important family is to me, and he's the same as well. Uh, we've spoke about it a lot. I think he was away at an England camp, and he had to fly back to see the birth of his child. He got there ten minutes before. He said so. Hopefully, I can do the same. <laughs> Hi, Jonathan Northcroft, Sunday Times. Just on that theme, have you actually worked out how it would work? Have you got a plane ticket at the ready or have you looked into flights and stuff? Yeah, uh, spoke to the guys, uh, the FA, and uh, yeah, I've asked them to get me a private plane with lots of champagne on there. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the guys, have, they've, they've worked well with me. Uh, they're going to organise a plane for me to get back as fast as possible. So, so what's the cut-off point? When, when would you need to, to know if it, if, it, if it gives you time to get back? Uh, well, it's, just, it's, it's very straightforward, really. She's just going to give me the heads up and then I tell the lovely Emily there. And then Emily speaks to people and tries to get a, a plan for me to get back as fast as possible. I mean, we, we've got a fantastic squad, uh, great players. And if, if I am selected to play, and I have to then go back to see my family. There's players more than capable to do the job I can do, if not a lot better. So I'm confident with with uh, with that decision. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's always useful uh, to to see the game from that side of it. A lot of a lot of uh, a lot of it is mental. Uh, how you deal with adversity, uh, ups and downs, and how to keep a, a calm mind in difficult situations. So we've looked at different ways of coping with that stuff and it's it's been it's been eye eye opening for me and some of the lads. But I've been I've been uh, excited by what we've been listening to. Yeah, it's just certain things like how to reset your mind if you make a mistake, uh, little things that you can do to refocus your mind. Uh, to try forget about the mistake that you've just made and move on as fast as possible, to be honest. No, we won't be able to roll them over. When I say I liken them to Manchester City, I mean in terms of how we like to try play football and move the ball around fast. Uh, we won't be able to just roll them over. They're, they're, a, they're an informed team. Uh, they're very confident, very comfortable on the ball. So we will have to be on our toes. We'll have to implement our game plan spot on. To get the win. Is there any players within their side that particularly highlight to you guys? No, we'll get individual clips as well as a, a collective uh, video as well that we can go and have a look at. But we've been looking at their patterns of play, uh, what they like to do, their strengths and their weaknesses, and how we can how, can, how we can operate around that. Yeah, no, not at all. Uh, I've been uh, selected in every squad this season. Uh, I just had niggles and weren't able to stay. And I've been uh, speaking to the lads that we've got at City. I've spoke to Gareth often. So I've been well aware of what's been going on and what's been said in camp. So coming into this camp, it's not like I'm uh, a fish out of water, if you know what I mean. I'm well aware of what, what the standards are and what Gareth wants from his players. Uh, no, I won't. I won't surprise. Uh, I'm I'm probably one of the oldest in the squad. So, uh, in terms of experience, I'm probably a little bit more experienced in terms of life, older than them, <laughs> the young lads. But 
I want ex I want a surprise being uh, pulled into the leadership group. I mean, the leadership group, we, we've got leaders all across the team, to be honest with you. Uh, we've been selected just because our age, probably. <laughs> yeah, we can do that, but you, we've got young, like, we've got like people like Raheem Sterling, who's a very young guy, but very mature guy. Uh, he voices his opinion as well as the other lads. Uh, it's clear for us that we, Gareth has a message and we have to pretty much be there for the lads if they've got a problem. If they need something uh, sorting, then they can come to us and speak to us about it. Okay, so last three, question here. Question here, we'll finish with Steve Bates. Uh, Just a question about Harry Kane. I mean, uh, does it change a bit of his attitude since he has been confirmed as captain? No, nothing changes. I think, uh, I think with H, He's always been a captain, uh, whether he had the armband or not. So him getting the armband's not changing one little bit. Uh, he still never passes. He still shoots at every opportunity. <laughs> but uh, he's a great guy, a good leader and a very talented player. He's an absolute goal scorer and he's a breath of fresh air to be around. <coughs> Yeah, like you said, it's very important to get off to a good start. Uh, we're going into the game to win the game. Uh, we'll have a game plan, like I keep saying. I think we'll implement it and we're very confident going into that game. I don't know sportsmen like to visualise things. Have you visualised what a successful tournament could, could mean for you guys? Because you could go back heroes, couldn't you? Yeah, we've spoke about uh, things like you said. Uh, having a very good, a very good tournament. You know, we'll have young kids watching us and uh, we can set examples by performing well and going, going as far if not winning the, the World Cup. We could go back heroes and uh, we're not looking at anything other than that, other than doing our country proud, doing our family and friends proud and the guys next to us, the guys that are working day in, day out with us at, in, in the national team. So we're, we're all in it together. Uh, you guys get behind us and... Let's have a good go at it. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you.